Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Develop Code Hunt. In this episode we're going to start right into sector 11, the second array sector. And we're going to start with level 1. Let's see what's coming here. We're supposed to capture code friend. Whoa! That's quite a number of test cases generated here. So let's see. The puzzle gets in two integer arrays and is supposed to return another integer array. So this array is probably compo composed of the first ones. Let's see. So we get in two arrays, one of length 5 and one of length 4, and the result is an array of length 4, if I see that correctly. Um, and my first guess is that this is just the difference between the array values because 730 and 698 there's a difference of 32 it's quite easy to see and in the last case because there's no element in the B array there's the full the 265 value so I'm going to give this a try um, create an integer array results new int array of math max a dot length I think b dot length length and then for I can actually take array a to do that right uh, but anyways, um, the question is how to deal with the different length of the arrays. So you could just go along and say a dot length i plus plus, and we're going to set r dot i to a dot to math apps of a dot i minus b dot i but now I'm going to run the two index out of bounds problems that's not r but results um, index out of bounds problems so I could of course um, length length here and length there and I could of course say if I smaller a dot length and I smaller b dot length do this else if I smaller a dot length length um say result i equals a i else result i equals b i i guess that's going to solve the problem but i'm taking the chances to say that this is not going to give me the full skill rating because it's a pretty lengthy solution but let's check out if the right solution and then think about how to improve on this. Funnily enough, it is not yet the complete solution because there's an absolute calculated in any case. As you can see here, we have a minus 963, which I give along and it's supposed to be a, a positive value. So what this means is that I have to calculate the absolute uh, of this distance in any case even if the other value is zero so let's do it like that and see what comes of it apparently that's still not it which is quite interesting why is it not? there's a possibility to have a negative value here interesting so it is actually
not an absolute value at all, is it? It is just um, a minus b, I'd say. So it's a minus b, in this case it's just a, and in this case it's minus b. Which means that I just have to find a way to improve this code, I just have to find a way to uh, make this a thing here become zero if ai is not defined and the same for bi. But apparently I still got it wrong somehow. So let's think about this. Um, now it's positive again. That's strange. I really don't get this right now. Okay, maybe I was wrong in my generalization. Maybe it's more like this. We'll find out pretty soon, hopefully. Waiting for PAX to run my code. Looks better than the last try at least. But now I'm actually unsure. No, it's not it still. It's still not it. Now it's again plus B. So what was the case where I had this minus value here? So this was where I was supposed to return the positive value despite the B thing being negative. Though this was why I introduced the apps thing to figure it out. It's actually something new, so it will take a while longer for PEX to produce results. But I'm pretty confident that there should be at least one failing test case coming up. Because this is almost what I tried before, didn't I? I also had a, a math apps around this uh, case here. So maybe that was what changed the result. Oh, this actually captures this task. Interesting, and it even gives me a full skill rating. So apparently it's not that easy to write something better. Hmm. Still, I would give it a try to improve this code a little and say public static int helper gives an int array a and an index i and if uh, it just returns if a dot length if i is smaller than a dot length then it returns a i else it returns zero so that I can go here and try to combine these things without the without the check you know um, let's call this one value and say value a whoops what's going on value a i minus value b i b i um and then i'm going to actually going to try to put only the b value in an absolute Let's see what happens now. That solves the task. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. So apparently, we really have to have this whole complexity, and then, then it does not really make sense to introduce this additional 
up a thing down here, I guess. If you should happen to come across a shorter solution that still gives the full skill points, um, let me know because I would actually be quite interested in seeing how we could solve this faster. Um, but for now, oh, that's not it yet. I forgot the math, math apps up here, I guess. So this is the full solution. I'm going to stick with that and continue on to the next task. This is it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If not, drop me a comment or send me a message. Let me know what you think. And have a look at my channel and the other things I'm doing. Maybe there's something interesting for you. So this is goodbye for now and hope to see you next time.